Good afternoon and thanks for joining us here on the new news hour. Canada's health minister says it will comply with the Supreme Court ruling ordering the Conservative government to keep BC's safe injection site running. In a historic decision, the Supreme Court of Canada unanimously sided with British Columbia in its fight to keep Insight open. Grace Key has our top story. <laughs> Cries of joy rang out in Vancouver's downtown east side after a lengthy legal battle with the federal government that took them all the way to the Supreme Court of Canada. Insight can now keep its doors open. The decision is powerful because it's a unanimous decision of the Supreme Court of Canada. That's not a common occurrence. Uh, the decision is unequivocal insofar as it um, uh, concludes that the government violated um, the constitutional rights of the people who need insight. The Supreme Court of Canada ruled that denying users access to insight would violate their rights to life, liberty and security under the Canadian Charter of Rights. But when it comes to federal jurisdiction, insight would still need an exemption from drug laws from the Minister of Health. My advice to Ottawa is let's get on with the show, uh, let's move on to the next phase, let's accept the fact that we have now have a ruling and let's do what is best for Canadians and e embrace the evidence. This decision could have huge implications for future supervised injection sites. The court ruling was limited to Insight, but lawyers say if other communities can show a similar need and operate in a similar manner as Insight, they could seek a federal exemption. But I think you will see interest from public health colleagues across Canada who uh, will do the necessary groundwork to ensure they have the same kind of local support, uh, need within their communities and evidence that this may be a benefit to their populations. No, honestly, the overwhelming emotion for most of us, I think, in this room today is the, the memories of all the people that we've known in this neighborhood for the last 20 years, for most of us who have been part of this struggle. And this uh, notion that we've had that people are going to be better off if we shove them farther away while they're still using. Yeah. 